at half of it. So here is another massive volcano. This one's a bit more uh, out of the way. Out of the way of uh, the wind, especially. Well, good morning, YouTube. I'm middle of nowhere again. Uh, I'm just, it's actually an eye overlander spot, but it's a reasonably new eye overlander spot. Uh, it's probably, I think it's a sign private property, but I think people keep coming up nicking this for the uh, soil or gravel. So there's a road there. I'm kind of out of the way. If it's sunny, you'll you might see the reflection. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you might see the reflection. Uh, but during the night, if you've got no lights on, nobody will see you. So it's just kind of a. I don't know if it's like a washout. It looks like there must be a washout or some other. But I'm fairly well high up. Well, I'm uh, fellow well high up. I'm uh, twelve and a half thousand feet up, so it's pretty, pretty chilly. There is a massive mountain over there, or a volcano. Uh, I wanted to get because we left. Uh, I left uh, Adam. Uh, well, we're going. In, we're going into town. And we're supposed he was supposed to get some work done on his uh, his VW, uh, and we were supposed to meet. And I, I wanted to go to the supermarket. We were supposed to meet up uh, an eye overlander spot, but the that eye overlander spot was actually closed off. So uh, I went to the next one, which is another ten miles further up. But the VW specialist who was having a look at his truck didn't get a chance to sort it out that night. He did a bit that night uh, and then he did a bit the next morning. So he, Adam actually ended up staying at the VW place in uh, Laguna, I think it was. Laguna, Laguna. So he stayed there. Uh, so we never actually met up. Uh, 
again. So we, we met up as we climbed down from out at Petal Garage last time. We, uh, well, we, we've chatted since. But yeah, so we never ended up coming to that campsite where I was. Uh, he said he'd ring before, but by the time that I think he... It all finished and he got his, his vehicle sorted out and it was like half past two, quarter to three. Uh, and by that I'd already left to come here. This is only like another half an hour away, or an hour away from where I was. So we'd already left, I'd already left to come here. And I didn't have my internet on, so he tried ringing, but obviously didn't get hold of me. So he's gone back to where we was, uh, Quasin. Uh, the campsite where we stored it, so he's gone back up there because his visa's running out. So he has to get over to Columbia. Out of breath because it's high up. Yeah, so he went back to Columbia, or he's heading back to Columbia, and he's, I think he's decided the VW place he was, there was another guy there, a Colombian, and he says, oh yeah, his friend rebuilt his VW, which is, uh, which Adam actually did see uh, there because he was having his, his engine rebuilt as well. It's a common theme there. So he did uh, he did that and he says, yeah, yeah, it's a really good place. So it looks like he's getting it rebuilt. So he's going to get it rebuilt in Columbia and then he's going to do uh, carry on foot for a while. But he's got to go to states and he's got to go to some other places as well. Turn it off a bit. He's got to go to some other places. Back to the UK. Uh, he's got some issues he's got to sort out that I won't, I won't say because that's up to him. Uh, now he's he is Australian, but obviously he lives sort of in the UK as well. So, but he's got to go back to Australia. So tomorrow, uh, I've been here, I, I came here, yes, so I, I stayed last night and I'll stay tonight. I just couldn't be asked to organise myself. And it's a nice spot because it's a nice spot because I'm out with the way from people. Uh, it's just nice just being on my own. I know I'm on my own a lot anyway, but it's just nice just chilling out, just doing now. I've been on YouTube all day. Anyhow, I'm gonna make my tea, so catch you later. So this is a pass, uh, and I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I've just taken a picture of it. That's a sticker. It's 14,000 feet at the minute. So I'm heading further south. So that's the name of it. It's Chimborosa. of it yeah, you can see half of it that's quite a
of it now. Well, it's now, uh, Well, good morning YouTube. I'm, I can't remember if I filmed this or not, sorry it's a bit windy, I can't tell a lot about that. Oh, my nose is uh, peeling. But, this is where I am. I'm at a, a cafe tower on top of a mountain. But yeah, this is where I am. This is Belair, not Bolivia. Ecuador. It's so beautiful, this Ecuador. It really is. All these mountains. The road that I go down is very steep. Very drop off to one side. But this is the village of Aki, I think it is. Something like that. I can see how high I am up. There is supposed to be a train that goes up the mountainside, but it's. Uh, I have talked to people and they said, oh, it's running or it's not running or whatever. So, uh, so today I am heading to a. I'm heading to a Inca village. Of hours away, and uh, then I'll find somewhere around there to camp for the night. I need to get some water because there's an old guy who has a couple of ho uh, a couple of cows up here. It's going to leave a little bit. He, uh, and it's a really steep hill that he, uh, and, you know, and he's carrying water up, and it's like 10 litres a time, you know. So I emptied one of my water tanks to feed it to water his, uh, his cows. So, uh, and it, it, it fucking kill, it kills me walking up here, let alone bloody carrying thingy. So he did it all right, the old guy. Don't understand a word of English. But is, we had a chat for about an hour. <laughs> so that was really cool. Uh, yeah, I think there's some water at the bottom where he gets it from. So I'm going to fill my water tanks up again. So he, uh, it saved him like six or seven trips going backwards and forwards, carrying a 10 litre tub. Anyway, I will catch you later. Anyway, so this is the track <laughs> that I'm going down. Pretty stupid one or two. <laughs> but it's been nice up there for a couple of days. Definitely. So there's a couple of water barrels here, so I'm going to see if I can uh, whip some of that water. If you skip 500 feet, turn right onto 35. So you can see where that area is on that top of that hill. That's where I was last about. I've been there for the last two nights. So I've just come down that road down there. But you see, if you, you start rolling down that, <laughs> yeah, you can see the little scars in the uh, hillsides where the uh, little roads are or tracks are. 
Yeah, that makes me nervous though. Anyhow, 